In a meeting that was held in Imbarar on Friday, pharmacists from around the country resolved to close their businesses if their grievances are not addressed. Until government listens to us, we are going to advocate and lobby all our members, we're going to tell all our members in this country to close their shops, close their pharmacies. According to Rajab Mutumba, the executive secretary of Uganda Farmers Owners Association, despite a court injunction restraining the state from enforcing or executing the revised trade license rates stipulated in statutory instrument number no. 2 of 2011, pharmacies and drug shops face an increasing tax burden from different agencies in the country. Councils, especially KCCA and other state councils in the country, are imposing trading license, collecting trading license fees from the pharmacies. And yet they know, they know very much that there is a court injunction stopping them from collecting these taxes. Mutumba said pharmacies pay three forms of fees to national drug authority like inspection fees, suitability fees and operational license besides the income tax, pay as you earn, local service tax. They say these are too many taxes. However, Richard Mgisha, the deputy town clerk of Umbarara, says as municipal authorities, they are not aware of any court injunction because they have not been notified in a formal communication by the line ministry. There, there, there is an injunction that is uh, addressed to the, the Attorney General. The Attorney General is our representative. The Attorney General communicates to other government departments. Then the Ministry of Trade industry and cooperatives is supposed to communicate to us. Now the latest document we get from the ministry is the one we go by. They pay their fees to operate um, a pharmacy by National Drug Authority and also they pay uh, fees for certificate of suitability of premises. That, that is enough for them to operate a drug shop or a pharmacy without uh, extra taxes from the executive secretary also accused NDA for flouting guidelines when issuing operational licenses to a new farmers which he said must be some 500 meters away from the existing one. However, the NDA regional manager dismissed the claim saying the pharmacies next to each other were in place before the regulations on distance was put in place. The drug authority sometimes does not follow its own guidelines. It passes out guidelines, regulations and rules, but then at the end of the day, they not follow the same. Regulating a distance in uh, operating pharmacies. Most of them are old pharmacies, and some of them that you would see opening are usually relocations. We allow relocations between within a radius of 200 meters. Second, uh, second.